Luke 16, 16, you might want to jot that in your notes. Luke 16, 16, there's a parallel verse. And Jesus says almost the same thing, but he puts it in a very unmistakably powerful voice. In fact, let's have somebody read that. Luke 16, 16. Again, Jesus is talking about the advance of the kingdom in your life. In, in who you are right now. And you may have hit a roadblock. You may have had a setback. You may have had a sense where you've been stopped. You might even have a sense that you're being pushed backward. Uh, you're in some form of defeat. And if you feel that way, number one, I love you and my heart goes out to you. Please don't be discouraged. But you might say, well, Rick, you don't know my sin. Or you don't know my situation. Or you don't know how disappointed I am. You might be disappointed in yourself or disappointed in somebody else, probably both at once. And so you might be thinking, you know, when it comes to the kingdom of God in my life, it's stopped. The kingdom of heaven is on retreat. The kingdom of heaven is struggling, but that's not what the text says. Who's got Luke 7? Thank you. Our preacher. <laughs> Luke 16, 16, right? The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God has been preached and everyone is pressing into it. Is that positive or negative? Positive. Very positive. Why is that positive? Pressing into it. They're pressing in. And so we have no reason to think that pardon me for getting technical, that the word biazetai is a passive voice. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven, force, but it's passive. Oh, the kingdom of heaven is suffering negative force. The text does not say that, nor does it even hint that, but a, a, a theology of some ancient translator decided, well, it can't be good. It's got to be bad. So we're going to translate it. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and violent men are molesting it. No! No way! My favorite illustration. I can't hold myself back from this one. It's like the ant. And every day the ground rumbles and it upsets the anthill. So finally the powerful ant says, I've had enough of this. I'm going to go out and stop that, that rumbling. And he climbs up on the railroad track. And the train is coming. And the ant says, Ha ha! That engine is going to suffer violence. I'm going to do it force. And then the train comes. Well, you can tell how well that plan worked. <laughs> the devil can't stop the advance of the kingdom. In our Bible study recently, we've seen the kingdom of heaven is like the mustard seed that grows and it's unstoppable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven that permeates the whole lump of dough. Isaiah 7, 9, 9, 7 says, Of the advance of his kingdom, there is no end. And there's no end to the advance of his shalom. So when we say... Brothers and sisters, the kingdom of heaven is advancing powerfully. In your life, not only do you get the kingdom and the power, but you get peace. Why? Because we're vulnerable people and we can feel uh, upset. We can feel worried. We can feel uh, discouraged. We can hear the enemy speaking to us. We, we can look back and say, oh, I've been stopped. I've been st uh, I'm not going where I need to go. I want to encourage you. The kingdom of heaven is triumphantly advancing, powerfully advancing in your life.